All right, I am at the immigration office. I'm about to get in and do my citizenship interview. How do I feel? Nervous. Um, some kind of some kind of way and I'll let you guys know how things unfold and how it goes. Wish me luck and I'll see you guys later and I will tell you guys everything that is going to happen in there. Keep me in your prayers. Well, maybe not. Well, okay. I'm praying for myself. I don't know what to say, guys. I am nervous, period. So, I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, I just went in there and they asked for my appointment letter. I showed it to them. He said, ma'am, it is only 1040 and we cannot take you because your appointment is at 1215 and this is 1040. You have to come back at 12 o'clock at the earliest. So. I'm gonna be sitting in my vehicle and just going through whatever I think may be relevant for the test. So back to my vehicle and sit down and wait for that time and I'll let you guys know. So all right all right all right all right all right okay ladies and gentlemen i am just coming back from my citizenship test and i haven't even called my spouse to let him know neither have i called any family member i just wanted to give it fresh as is before it starts fading away from my short-term memory okay so when in there i checked in and um did my fingerprints did my right and left index finger and thereafter I was given a number and my number was 2628 which is kind of a number that I like okay I like even numbers for some reason so when I sat there um, approximately two minutes after she gave um, I got my number I heard the number 2628 I had um, taken a picture of the things I had to study last minute, like the last time I left the country and when was my green card, when, for how long have I been a permanent resident and just, you know, last minute um, revision. I just took a picture and my plan was to go over it and, you know, cram those numbers again and those dates again. So I had to, you know, you get the she's like read into a few things, but I didn't have the time to read it because my officer came so fast and got me and she went in and she said um, where do you live I told her and in the last year we have moved so she asked me if after moving I've lived here for about six months which I agreed and she said um, let's what do you do i see you're a travel nurse oh you make big bucks i said well we used to make money during covid covid is gone nursing don't make that nurses don't make that much anymore because our covid um incentives are have faded away since covid faded away which is a good thing though know, nobody like covid so um she asked me six questions which i will give you at the end of the video okay if you watch the video to the end you will hear the six questions she told me we had 10 questions but upon me answering the first six correctly she said no more we're going to stop at this time and then she gave me a writing test which she read we pay taxes and i had to write it and next she asked me then i passed the right the written part and then the next thing she went in to ask me a few more questions about uh, my spouse she asked me about my children and she asked me to spell one of my daughter's name and she 
randomly picked on one of my daughters and asked me so many questions about her. And after we discussed, she said, okay, I'm asking you about this child because we have the same name. For um, legal reasons, I'm not going to say which of my daughters she asked me about because I don't know what protocol is and I don't want to be dinged on anything. She asked me to spell that specific child's name. She compared it to her name and she said, I'm going to change my name after this because I think I like the way you spelled your daughter's name. Then she asked me a little bit about my husband, how many times I've been married. Um, she asked me what my husband did, does. And then my most scary part was when she asked about my taxes because I do have taxes pending. So when I told her I have taxes pending, she said, okay, as long as it's pending, it's fine. But you are not behind, which I'm not behind. I just have taxes pending. And so she said that was all right. And she said, if I did owe taxes, she wanted to at least see that I'm on a payment plan, which at this time I did not owe taxes. So if you are going to be taking this test and you owe taxes, please, please, please either pay it off or get on a payment plan because one of the reasons why you cannot be a U.S. citizen is if you owe taxes or child support, not of good moral character and things like that. Next, we started talking about the weather. Today, I'm in Nashville and we are, expected, we are expecting to have so much rain and storm. So she was like, oh, um, thank you for coming early. Um, I said, yeah, I've been here since about 10 a.m. She said, you should have checked in. I've been sitting around doing nothing. And now we started talking about her. So I asked her, look, guys, they are officers. They, they are people. And I know prior to now, I was kind of scared and nervous because I didn't know. But what she, once she warmed up to me and, you know, asked me things that are not relevant to the test necessarily, I was able to... To open up to her and, you know, I asked her how long has she been married? <laughs> yes, she said she's been married for a few years and how many, I asked her how many children she has and she told me how many children she has. I asked her how long have you done this job? She said she's done this job for about six months. I asked her, do you like it? She said she likes it. I said, are you hiring? She said, yeah, they're hiring. I said, would you hire me? She said, yeah, go to USA.gov or something. She told me where to go to apply and they're hiring and they would like to have me on board. I said, okay, um, do you guys hire nurses? She said, yeah, we hire nurses. I said, okay, prior to now, I'm not a citizen, so I couldn't qualify. She said, well, you're this close to becoming a citizen. So once this push through, then girl, you can apply so you can get federal benefits. I said, yeah. So that's how it that's how it went. I am so excited. You can see from my voice, from a smile from my cheeks. She said at the end she said, Congratulations, I am going to approve you so that you can be approved. I'm going to approve your application to become a citizen. Then she said they used to have she said they used to have um uh, what is it called? She said they used to have same day or during COVID, but they no longer have it because COVID restrictions have been uplifted. So as a result of that, they no longer have um, same day or, and then she said, since I live in Clarksville, I still will be coming down here to Nashville to do it in the courtroom, to do my swearing in in the courtroom. And so that's how it went. So right now I have to wait for the day of my oath ceremony she said make sure you come with all your family bring all your friends there's no restrictions as to how many people you can invite so that's how it went it was pretty relaxed she's like all right girl if you're okay i'll walk you out of here and you can get home in time before the weather gets rough guys i am so happy and i wish everybody success through the journey and pray 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 honestly i felt like i was having a conversation a chit chat with my co-worker it was so nice because she told me what can i say she told me about literally her husband what her husband does and she said she want to be here for 
a while and she can be a stay at home mom she gets bored it was just like a regular conversation you have in the break room with your co-workers it was so nice so um i wish you all good luck um you know study the 100 questions and pray and hope and god bless you i will tell you the questions that i got to be exact thank you been a few days and I just got carried off with life so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the exact questions that I had for my citizenship the first question is and I read what is the capital of the United States and I answered Washington Washington DC it's 2 a.m. and I am struggling to talk and the next question I was asked is who wrote the Declaration of Independence and I answered Thomas Jefferson. The next question I got asked is who is in charge of the executive branch? And I answered the president. The next question I got asked is who is the vice president? And I answered Kamala Harris. The next question is what was when was the dip <coughs> Pardon me, I cannot talk. It's too late. It's too early in the morning. Sorry. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? And I answered July 4th, 1776. And then the last question I got asked is, before he was president, Eisenhower, or Eisenhower, I can never say that correctly, was a general. What war was he in? And I answered World War II. And she said, we are going to end the test at that time. So that's a brief summary of how it went. And big, big thing, the only place where we really had to pause and, you know, revisit a few things was when she asked me about my taxes. So if you owe taxes, ladies and gentlemen, I beg on and I beg on you to at least get on a payment plan and <clears throat> the taxes that I had pending, I, you know, went ahead and paid everything off. If you're capable of paying everything off, it's even better. And that's it. She asked me if I wanted to do a name change. And I'll take care of that later. I do want to do a name change, but I just, I just wanted to be out of that place in one piece, you know. So good luck, everybody. Um... Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions, you know, if you want to see more of this content, I'm happy to do it again and let me know. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.